fellow travelers and adventurers, uh, today I am reviewing and unboxing the Maidens of Might Scarlet Witch from the Avengers Allfather Big of Bill Big of Bill, uh, Build a Figure Legends Infinite Avengers series. Let me get this right out of the box right here, right now. So the thing they do with these Avengers and Marvel Legends is they make them simple because this is Hasbro we're talking about here. They're really big with collectors. So what they do is they make it simple for us to take them out of the box so that we can repackage it or for people in the store to steal the fig, the build the figure parts. But here's the deal. Who would want to steal this? Look at that. Just zoom that in and just take a quick look at his patch over his eye. Look how horrible that looks. That looks atrocious if you ask me. They definitely missed the uh, sculpted portion with the paint. I don't know. I was planning on building him, but uh, I might have to do Thor now. Ah! Her head came off. When, when trying to remove it, her head came off. But here's the build of figure parts. You got a sick cape, and you got a cane. You got cane. You got Scarlet Witch's cape, which is very cool, and you got a little little mentalist little changing society of America images I am changing reality quote Scarlet Witch so let's put the head back on the body and maybe that's on purpose so you can remove the cape if you want to show her from her time when she didn't have a cape did she ever not have a cape I'm, I'm not really sure I always just remember with her sick cape but she probably did so articulation you guys know Marvel legend rotations and bends the articulation so I'm just gonna do a quick showcase for you the head rotates but the hair is too much she looks up that much she looks down barely any let's go to the shoulder it, it, it bends and rotates the elbow bends and rotates I think yeah rotates and the wrist rotates and bends she doesn't really have an ab crunch she has this well this is kind of an ab crunch but it's ab crunch rotate hybrid and uh, the legs bend double bend at the knee at the ankle bend and rotation and swivel I think no nope, no swivel just rotation and a rotation at the thigh. Now I just want to point out the, uh, my favorite part of this figure is the face. They did a really great job with this face. I know the previous Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch f did not have the greatest face and I think they did a really good job with her. She uh, she looks like a very attractive female of uh, humans and um, they did a really good job with the paint application. Everything's clean, and I'm not sure if you can see it here, but above her eyes, uh, there's a bit of, of red shadowing, which I think is really nice, really nice, and looks very exquisite. Um, also, I, I want to note that the hair is done very well, and there's a lot of nice toning in there, so you got that to look forward to. And this figure is a bit more interactive than you might like, so if you're one that's afraid of breaking figures by taking parts off, then I might not recommend this one for y'all. But here we go. To take off the head, you just pop it off. Sorry, I hit the camera while doing that. And you put the cape back on. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty nice. You can see where this is going. And boom, there is Scarlet Witch with her cape on with the nice little uh, back. Like it's a... A v-neck shirt but it's backwards or something and then there's another part you can replace and that is the hands because she got her she has her uh, cool little uh, reality changing devices the way I do it is I there are these holes on there uh, some people might be able to just throw them through I can't so what I do is I I put it on the hand and then I I, I attempt to push it in. Hopefully I can do this on camera. And there you go. It's it's pushed in. You do that for both sides. 
and as you can see, it looks very cool, huh? The main disappointment I'm seeing here is regarding her footwear. Did Scarlet Witch always have such high heels? I always thought she had kind of boots. But alas, artists style her differently, so I guess this is kind of accurate, but personally, I can tell that this is a reuse of the Black Cat body sculpt, and uh, I kind of wish that they took the time to give her a boot instead of this. And check out this paint. What is going on there that's pretty sloppy, huh? Honestly, I'm really glad I picked this figure up, because putting it on a stand, it looks really cool, and it looks like... A nice figure. So has Marvel Legends won me back? I'm not so sure. Let's see as I get through the rest of the figures in this collection. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tommy wishing you a great day. Your own personal holiday.